guys! Welcome to my kitchen again. We're going to do another food video today and today I'm going to be trying the farm fresh egg versus O'Brien's free range eggs. So if you watched my other video, a walk through cork, you saw that we got these farm fresh eggs out of a vending machine. If you guys haven't seen that video, I will put the link to that video in the description box. This took a little bit of preparation beforehand to make, so let me get you guys up to speed of how we got here with these poached eggs with toast and rashers. So you guys are gonna see a taste off, taste off. Comment below, what do you think? The farm fresh egg or the free range egg? And is there gonna be a difference? Cause I will make sure to give you guys my honest opinion. My oven is preheating to 150 C. I have my rashers from the butcher's block in Blackpool, Cork, Ireland. Everything for all the places will be in the description box below. And these are the smoked rashers. They had unsmoked rashers, but I thought the smoked rashers would be good. Now this is not like bacon. If you want an American style bacon, you need to get the streaky bacon that they have. Or streaky, steaky, steaky bacon, something like that. But they didn't have that. I'm just gonna put it on this rack. I chose just to bake it. You could use a pan. I just didn't want to waste a pan and I wanted to focus my time to the poached eggs because those require a little bit of your attention. Make sure you do it properly. My pot with water. I'm gonna add a little vinegar to my water. Usually do this with white vinegar. I don't have white vinegar, but that's okay. Use apple cider. So first, I'm using the farm fresh egg. Crack it in a shallow dish. So that's the farm fresh egg. All right, we have bubbles, so our water's ready. Little whirlpool effect, put it in gently. I'm gonna do mine for two minutes. Now I have for you the free range egg. Color wise, this does look a bit oranger in color, but I don't, I don't noticeably see too much of a difference from the free range and the farm fresh just yet. But let's see with the taste. Two minutes is up. All right, so I noticed that with the free range, I didn't get as good a poach. They both came out of the whites when I poached it. That was one that I did. These two are both free range. And you can see they didn't stay in their whites. And that one almost cooked on the outside. Now it might've been how I dropped it. It could be a mixture of things. And also that I did those two second. I might have should have done them first, but this was the farm fresh. As a poached egg, at least for what I did this time, it seemed that the farm fresh poached better as the whites went all around it as a poached egg should, better than the free range. Try this again to just try it one more time and see if it was what I did or what the situation was with the water, something. But that was my experience. All right, so you guys saw the preparation I did to make this poached egg sand dough. Sand dough, sandwich, kitchen turns. Free range poached egg and farm fresh poached egg. The farm fresh egg poached beautifully. All the white stayed intact. And I tried to poach this free range egg three times. I changed the water, everything. And it seemed like the whites just would not go over, they split like you saw, um, and the yolk wanted to come out, and I made sure the water was simmering, everything. I did it three times. So I am not sure that just might be a fault that just happened with me, or I don't know. Let me know below at home how successful you guys are with A, poaching eggs, and B, poaching free range eggs. Okay, so let's put this together. Here's my rashers. Again, 
As you see, not very crispy. There's not much fat on the smoked rashers. And I have some sourdough bread. Oh, the bread smells so good. Look at those yummy, yummy pockets. Try the free range poached egg first. I love a nice runny egg. So I tried a little bit of the egg on its own without the bread and it's really a creamy, it has a creamy texture. Our farm fresh egg. I don't know if it's me or what happened with the uh, free range, but I could not get a poach like this no matter how many times I tried. This one, I get that same really creamy, eggy flavor. So in terms of the flavor of the free range egg, it did have a more of an eggier flavor, creamy, soft, nice yolk when you bit into it. For me, it didn't poach as well. The farm raised egg, for me, had a lot, slightly less of an eggy flavor. Still, when you bit into it, the yolk was runny. It was beautiful yolk. So that's my review. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys like seeing my fails at attempting to poach a farm fresh egg. Like this video, subscribe, share this video with your friends, turn on the bell so you never miss a post and follow me on social media so you know what I'm posting next and what I'm working on. I post every Friday, Sunday, and Tuesday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I'll see you guys for another video. Bye.